Are you ready to take your videos from just OK to viral worthy? Today I am diving into the PreVD plugin, the ultimate game changer for eye-catching captions and animated visuals in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have ever marveled at how creators like Ali Abdal and Alex Sarmoji use those cool on-screen text, GIFs and emojis that grab your attention instantly, then keep watching. PreVD does more than just slap the text into your videos, it turns caption into engaging, shareable moments that that keeps viewers glued to the screen. Whether you're editing tutorials, blogs, or social media content, it helps you communicate idea faster, bolder, all while saving your hours of post-production. So let's jump in and discover how BVD works, how it can elevate your content, and why it's the secret tool you never knew you needed. In this video, I'll walk you through how to install and use and maximize BVDs inside Premiere Pro. Plus, I'll show you some awesome animated presets that can take your edits to the next level. By the way, you'll get 7 days of free trial to test the plugin if you click in the link in the description below. First thing first, let's install BreeVD and it's super simple. Head over to BreeVD's website and download the latest version of the plugin. Use GXP installer to install the plugin. Once installed, launch Adobe Premiere Pro and go to Windows and then Extension. There you'll see BreeVD. Just click on it to open the plugin. If you already have an account, login. Otherwise, create a new account and then you can just log in in BreeVD plugin. Now that we are set up, let's explore how this plugin can save you a lot of editing time. Once you complete the edit, make an in point and an out point. Now go to Windows BreeVD. Once you sign in to BreeVD, you will see two options. The AutoCAD feature will help you to automatically trim the raw clip if you are lazy just like me. But today we'll focus on the updated caption feature. Click on it, it will show you the credits you have and the credits you have already used. From the caption style, you can select a style you like. Here, they have 20 cool looking caption presets here and they are adding new preset regularly. You can also change the preset style later if you want. I'm selecting BG Zoom caption preset from here. From the transcription, you can select two different models, first and accurate. This model works better than the built-in Premiere Pro transcription model. I'll select an accurate models from here and we'll select auto detect languages. If you are speaking in a different language like Hindi or Tamil, you can select that manually. For me, auto detect works perfectly fine. Also, you can translate the caption into another language from here. We are keeping it simple for this tutorial. I will click auto detect. If you have a certain subtitle file for your video, you can also use that. Finally, click on create. BreeVD will render the audio and upload it to their server. Finishing the process on their server, they will create a transcription and place it on a separate track on your timeline. Everything happens within a minute, but it depends on the video length and the internet speed. Okay, here you can see the process has completed and the caption is in the middle of my video. To correct it, let's tweak a few settings. First, from the paragraph section, I'll make the line to 1 and characters to 20 for better readability. From the style section, I'll select the position at the bottom and I'll change the font to Hebo Bold. Of course, you can go crazy with the styling option they have. You can add a text background, change the animations and color of the text or even you can select a different text animation preset from here. This will give you the flexibility to match your branding. Once you're done with it, you can close the style window. It's time to review the caption. Watch the video carefully to identify any typos. If there are any typos, just click on the text tool and correct it. Selecting the paragraph tool, you can click on any words to break to from a new line or join any line. Cut tool is used to remove the silences and adjust the start and end of an auto cut sequence and the retime tool is used to retime the transcript. In my video, you can see some of my caption words are highlighted. How you can do that? Well, it's very simple. Select the highlight tool and click on the words you want to highlight. You can also use AI to suggest the highlights automatically for you to save some time. The reason for using this tool is all about saving time, right? So why not? Lastly, you can use AI to suggest clips and emojis automatically for you. Using the media tool, you can click and drag any part of your captions to make a selection. It will automatically open 
review this media panel and suggest you different media option you can use images gifs videos or emojis and of course there are several provider options to choose from i'll make a separate video on it very soon once you find the preferred media you can just click continue and insert the media it will automatically download the media and place it on the timeline there is an ai suggestion options too it will automatically suggest you the media depending on the video review the media and import it one by one or you can just click on import pending to import the media at once the media tool has a lot more options that cannot be shown in a single video let me know if you want to learn more about it in the comment section below with just a few clicks your captions and animation will stand out like never before so that's how you can use the latest pvd plugin to transform your premiere pro workflow the new update makes the text animation and auto captioning faster easier and more professional pvd offers a seven day free trial with a money back guarantee and they have flexible plan too. Those who just need the animated caption, they can buy the captioner plan. Or if you just like me want to have all the benefits that BreeBD plugin offer, I'll highly recommend their producer plan. Be sure to check the link in the description below for more details. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, then give me a thumbs up. And if you're in this channel, want to learn video editing or filmmaking gears review, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.